What kind of thoughts do you dwell on? Do you Are you a positive thinker or do you often dwell on the negative? Hello, I'm Coach Lance Meyer of Grass Ministries, a partner ministry with A City for God, and it's time for Message from the Sauna. So today's message is entitled, Your Thought Life. If you think back to the 2008 election, uh, and I know that's a number of years ago now, uh, but you may remember uh, one of the slogans of Barack Obama, and that was, yes, we can, right? And uh, it focused on hope and change and whether you uh, agree with uh, Barack Obama uh, on policy or not, or whether you voted for him or not, um, we can all agree that having a positive mindset, a mindset of yes, we can, is an important part of being successful. In fact, I've got a couple thoughts today. Uh, first, actually, they're not mine, from uh, Proverbs uh, chapter 23, verse 7, uh, from uh, Solomon. The wise Solomon says, For as he thinks in his heart... So he is. Yeah, pretty powerful words there. Many people constantly dwell on negative thoughts. They dwell on their fears, their hurts, their many problems, those that they have been hurt by and have not forgotten, forgiven. They focus on the fly and the ointment, never seeing the ointment, but only the fly. With their negativity and destructiveness, these people can ruin the lives of those who have the misfortune of living with them and around them. Most of all, these pessimistic people destroy their own bodies, their souls with their negative thoughts, and so their lives shrivel away. But we can take a note from Paul. He was beaten and imprisoned for the sake of the gospel. Because of all his trials, he could easily have had a very gloomy outlook. Instead, he chose to think about the good and positive thoughts, beginning with his thoughts on the Lord. We should heed Paul's instruction. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever things are good, there, if there's any virtue or anything praiseworthy, meditate and think about such things. Wise words from Paul. May we heed those words. Have a yes we can outlook. God bless you today.